Okay, today we are going to paint one of these holographic baits. I figure I uh, show you how they come in. This is a pretty cool little packet. Yeah, it's pretty neat. That little logo is neat. But yeah, this is how they come in. Today we're going to do a simple pattern. Today we are going to do... Where did it go? It disappeared on me right here. Blend it in. Today we're going to do this pattern. The reason why I'm showing you all of these is because this is what it was. And it broke... I had it maybe two months, three months, casting it, and when it hit the water, it snapped off. Now, these are really nice swim baits. Really, really nice swim baits. These are probably one of my favorite swim baits. These I will buy more of, but like I said, they break easy. They're, I don't want to say they're junk, but yeah, they, they ain't that good. I, they're uh, three or four dollars. They're not really worth the money, but the swim factor, the way they swim, they swim and then they stop. They do the, like this little curl thing and then they just stop and then they sink real slow. So these are sweet. Yeah, they're really nice. But like I said, they, uh, I want to call them junk, but the movement, I would say five out of five, I would give out of 10 five because they're junk man they break oh my goodness like these here stay away from this kind here because if you can see in the inside inside of there i had to glue them on because they all literally just fell out this back piece broke off literally broke off you can see a little better in that one i crazy glue and um baking soda Put it in there because I mean they you pull them like this and they would come out so if you see these with these little rubber tabs stay away from them run don't buy them they're junk yeah they're gonna fall apart on you I had I bought them and not even a week they broke so but I have to say the company reimbursed me back the money for these because I immediately sent them an email they let me have the base and um, they uh, reimbursed me back all my money. So the company is good. The company is great that I bought these off of. They immediately sent my money back. I mean, immediately sent my money back. But besides that, yeah, stay away from these. If you see these little rubber tails like this, stay away from these. As you can see, like I said, these are great, but... They're junk, man. They break. Oh, man. So for the beginners who out there going to buy, I buy blanks. I have, the last time I counted, it was 53 different styles blanks. And that was, wow, a while ago. So I'm sure I'm up to like 60 or 70 blanks by now, different styles. But, yeah, if you come across these and you, they are nice looking. They swim great. They float real they sink real slow they're great great baits they're beautiful in the water but they ain't gonna last long um they're not gonna last long at all so you take your risk buy some if you don't but well, we're gonna put this pattern on here and this is what i call the silver trout this pattern here i call the silver trout it's um really simple you're not gonna touch the middle just top and bottom and that's it simple simple pattern really easy to do all right let me show you the colors i'm about to use and um, let's get to painting all right these are the colors we're going to use today it looks like it's a lot of colors but it's when you put it all together it's really not that many colors all right first thing we're going to do this is just the base coat right here Base coat is just going to be the white pearl. It's just going to go. On the, the white pearl is just going to go over the top and on the bottom. And that's it. Nothing else. <clears throat> then we're going to do yellow first. Then we're going to do the green on top of yellow. And 
And then the rose gold bottom. Reds were under the gills. And then for the top, the black. <clears throat> Wanted to show you guys and girls these paints before I start getting into my color shifting paint. I have all three sets. I'm going to get the fourth set because there is a fourth set out there. So I will be getting a fourth set. So yeah, before we start getting into those paints, let's... uh. Let's knock out these patterns first with these because these are a lot easier to get and get a hold of. So, all right. Oh, well, one thing. Hold on one. Right, I am back. <clears throat> this is, excuse me, this is what I usually paint with, the Iwata HP. And um, a lot of these metallics don't spray through this because the needle's so thin. So, I bought myself a new toy. Let me put this to the side. Put this to the side. Stay there. I bought myself a new toy for the metallics. I wanted to show it off. And this is, I don't even know the name of this airbrush. Not a clue. But... The main reason why I bought this airbrush, because it spins the side view. You can hook up the side. Or you can twist it and put it to the bottom. And then you can pop it up the top. You have the top view. Or you can just Spin this all the way around. Put the cup in. Just have a regular airbrush. That's the way I'm going to use it today. And this airbrush came with three needles. The needle that's in here right now, it's a, a 0.3. And it comes with the 0.2. Oh, come on. There we go. Come with a 0.2 needle and a 0.2 nozzle. And for the bigger, thicker paint, it came with a 0.5 nozzle and needle. So it came with all three. Came with the two. And the gun already was the three. The nozzle and needle, and it came with a five nozzle and needle. So, yeah, it's a pretty neat gun. These are what I'm going to be using. This is what I use when I spray these now because it doesn't clog the gun up. It's a nice little gun. All right, I just wanted to show you my new, my new toy. It's a nameless airbrush. Nameless. All right. Let me hook everything up and let's get to painting. All right, it's time to have some fun now. Let's get to painting. First color is going to be pearl white. Pearl white is just going to be on the top and just the bottom. That's just, just the... Basically, give it a little quick clear coat because it's gray. It's gray and it comes gray. So, just to make it a little white. As you can see, I'm going to do another one, man, because, yo, that really worked. Caught a lot of fish. Pattern caught a lot of fish. Turn the fan on. A little 
little coat, so that's it. Set time. All right, I'm all done with the pearl white. All we did was just try to tone down that gray. That's all we basically did, just tone down the gray a little bit. All right, now it's time to put this green on there. It was yellow, green flash. Now the it's only gonna go on the top and that's it. Guys, hope you guys don't mind the compressor. It's uh, one coat, well, two, sort of two coats. I'm on a heat set. I'll be back. All right. <clears throat> That's only like two passes on the yellow, the yellow green. So now it's time to fade it in, go to the sides. Just to darken it up a little bit. Get it around the cheeks. Hit the cheeks area. But now it's time for the fade. This pattern has caught me a lot of fish on these big swim baits. I, this is the first time putting it on one of these holographics. For heat set i'll be back all right i'm back as you can see i faded in the yellow greenish yellow now it's time for the darker green and that's just gonna go right on top and that's it just on top leave some of the yellow on the side so that's why you can see the little fade just fade the darker green into the top that's all I have not cleaned the gun out yet, the airbrush. Not the green. All right, let's do just the green on top. Time. All right, <clears throat> this is one of these patterns that you got to take your time. A couple coats, real light coats. This is my third pass of this. So yeah, just real light coats. Heat set time. Just the pattern take a few minutes. I'll be right back. All right, I'm going to get some around the face. A little bit on the top of the cheeks. That's 
that's pretty like that by itself. Yeah, that is nice. Wow, these holographic bases actually look pretty neat. Man, I'll be buying more of these. He said time. I am back. I'm finished with the green. Look at that fade. Yeah, these are nice. The way the paint looks on top of these holographic baits. Really nice. For these being Walmart paints. Well, that's where I bought them at anyway. These paints are for a beginner, for somebody who's starting off. Yeah, these paints are nice. All right, now we're going to do the bottom. We'll always leave black for last. Always leave black for last. So now the bottom, rose gold. Now it's time to, that's why I keep the paper. See that? That's why I put the paper along on the end. Make life easier. That's it. Now it's time for the rose gold. I'll be back. Let me mix it up. All right, I'm back. Now it's time for the rose gold. I still haven't cleaned the gun out yet. This gun works pretty, pretty nice. Pretty decent. Make sure just gold coming out. And just roll gold to bottom. That's got a good heat set. set time all right we're done with the rose gold it all depends on how you want I, I like mine just a little darker and um <clears throat> now it's time for the red just a, any basic red will work that's all i'm using just any basic red and i'm gonna try to do I did clean the airbrush out too because it was getting kind of clogged up a little bit with all those flakes. So I did clean the airbrush out, but yeah, that's neat. Where you can just see it. Like, ah, check that out. Yeah, that's awesome sauce. But um, actually, this is the first time painting a fishing lure with this too. So I don't know. Let me turn the compressor down. That's a lot of paint. I'm going to try to do a little bit of the detail on the side with this airbrush. Could be ultimate fail or it could be good. We're going to put a little bit on the bottom anyway, so we're not going to do much. Not going to work with this airbrush. I'm going to have to change airbrushes. I'll be back. All right. I'm going to have to switch it around. I switched the airbrush out. Now with the HP, I, I could just do it without the uh, stencil. Turn it down. All 
right now we're just going to do a little bit just underneath of the gill and just that's it That's it. Just a, uh, just a just a touch of red. That's it. I put it underneath. That's it. Now it's time for black. I'll be back. I'm done. Oh, I'm back with the red. I'm done with the red. And when I used the red airbrush, it gave it a little splatter around the little added detail. So yeah, now it's time for the black, black on top, and then um, this is the old one, black on top, and do the black edges, hit the black spots on the back, do the black on the top of the fins on this one. This one, all this is just going to get is just black on top here, a little black around the face, and that's it, and then the black dots in the back. And a little black around the, the gill plate, around the gill area. And that's it. And she's ready to roll. All right, hold on. I'm going to make mix my paint up. All right. Now it's time to put the black just on top. Heat set. I'll be back. All right. Now just a little bit of black on the back, on the top part, a little bit around the face, a little bit around the eyes. That's it for that. And just heat set that. Off, way off. There we go. All right, let's heat set that. I'll be back. All right, I am back. It's all done now. All I have to do now, what I forgot was, I'm going to use just a dab of black just to put the, the dots on the back and to do just a little bit of the shading around the gill plate. And that's it. And then we're all done. And we're going to put eyes, red eyes, and it's ready to roll. And... I'm, I'm really impressed with this airbrush where at least just spray the metallics. This is really nice to spray thick paint with flakes in it because uh, this uh, water right here, this ain't, I mean, it, it'll shoot it out, but you got it at a really high pressure and there's really no control. But this here for canvases, I like to paint canvases and, uh, trays and stuff like that i like to paint besides fishing lures and everything but yeah this is really nice for the metallic yeah not bad for a 50 dollar purchase oh yeah oh yeah all right now let me mix this black up real quick and i'll be back all right we're gonna do a little bit of the black this is a little homemade stencil i made real fast just a little bit of black around the corner part right here and that's it just basically just a little bit, just a little detail, and that's it. That's it. 
That's it right there. Just that little dab. That's it. Just the same thing on the other side. All right, time for eyes. I'll be back. All right, now it's time to put the finishing touches. Is to put the black little dots on the back. That's it, nowhere else. Just a couple little on the back, and that's it. Couple black dots on the back. We are done with that one. Well, besides the eyeballs, anyway. Same thing goes to the big one. The difference this one gets it on the tail. Alright, we're all finished with the swim bait at least. Got the eyes on it. Finished the dots in the back. This came out pretty nice. Alright, now. Oh, oh man, I forgot to grab the eyes. Hold on one second. Alright, now. These. S cranks all got the I want to say 6.5 shape eyes the little weird shape eyes and these are six I don't have the right size eyes but I do have UV all right I just wanted to show you what I use to do eyes I seem to for me these it's probably one of the most expensive you know than the more expensive side but um for me this makes the best eyes just my this is my own personal opinion this makes the best eyes for me it's real thick um yeah all right so i'll be back All right, I'm back. I'm all done. Put the eyes in. I don't care for the eyes to be small like that. Like this side, I did the UV just to try to um, fill in the gap. That side came out all right. That side came out nice, almost even. This side came out off a little bit, but it's all right. Fish ain't going to care. But yeah, the silver trout. Real simple pattern. Really nice. And then there it is on the swim bait. Silver trap. Really nice. I mean, it's, I caught a lot of big fish on this one. That's why I made another one. This is, Hopefully, we'll see how long this one lasts. I'll keep you guys and girls informed how long this one lasts. 
Like I said, this one only lasts a couple months. So around what was it April, May is when swim bait starts jumping around here. So and hopefully maybe this one will work. Hopefully this one will work. Yeah, boy. All right, I hope you guys like this pattern. Thank you for watching. My name is Rick, and I'm out.